Hello and welcome back everyone to uh, episode 6 of Starfield. Um, sorry about my um, voice, it's just that I'm, I've still got the flu so we need to go back to the ship. back to New Atlantis. Let's take it, we're going to the science outpost. swimming in nitrogen at O2. Okay. Oh, hang on, maybe is it over here? Right? Okay, 
Hi, Cora. Hey, how are you? Good. Go to the soul. But So we've done that one. Hang on. Go to Nissol. Hang on. Okay. So we need to go to there. You're gonna get it. Hi. Hey! Stop firing at me. Eh, 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 eh. Alright, 
Where'd you go? Oh. That was a hell of a thing to see. Yes, they hurt me. That hey, get out of my way. So we found two. Oh, I love the smell of getting back into the harness. What? What? What kind of harness? Why are you looking at me like that? I didn't do it. Okay, I want to take you off.
I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? Uh... I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Another realist has joined our ranks. I'm outnumbered. The truth hurts, Mateo. And Mateo ropes us into another round of philosophy. Can't we agree both are important? You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Yes. So am I. Let me know if you need me. Right. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. No. Tell the rook to meet me back on board the station. Oh, I right. then thank you, but it was not necessary. <coughs> I'm gonna go and have a nap. Hang on, uh, hang on, is it? No, that's not mine. No, mine's down here, isn't it? Mine was... Oh, that's the science lab. Is it this one? Okay, that's... Wait, hang on. Which, which room is mine? I forgot which room I'm in. No, that's not mine. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, wait, hang on. Wait, hang on. Okay, it was down here. I'm sorry, buddy. And it was this one. No, that's the boardroom. What the hell? Ah, oh, it's this one. Alright, I'm gonna get some sleep. in my room. That's what I want to know. Are you in love with me? What? 
So how much? Is it everything you imagined? What? I think you're doing your family proud. <laughs> well, that's a first. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. Aww. So many people hear Cole and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Yes. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, <laughs> he'd flat out deck him. Guess we're done. Yes, we are, for the moment. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes this episode. So thank you, everyone. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.